What's up everyone, it's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I am committed to providing inspirational and practical ways for you to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today we're gonna to talk about protecting your citrus tree. So this Tangelo, it had a rough time. So it, before I bought this house, there was about four summers after the owners died that th these didn't get watered at all. Like there was no watering happening here for four years before I bought the house. I've now had it for a couple years and I haven't been fully consistent with the watering because it's in the backyard. I don't have automatic watering set up. But now as the years have progressed, last couple years, I've been giving it more consistent watering. I obviously wood chipped it super heavy and I got my Moringa cuttings over here. Every time I water those, it'll water the tree. But here's the thing. Once you start getting your, your bark peeling off, uh, you have a problem because the cambium layer of the tree is underneath the bark. Right underneath the bark before the wood is the cambium layer and that's where all the nutrients flow up to the leaves, to the fruit, from the roots. So when you have things like this, this is the west side of the tree, so this has been blasted. Usually you should let citrus trees bunch out. So all these branches should be over here shading the trunk, but it's not getting shaded because this was pruned wrong and I didn't know much about it. I, pr I started pruning it uh, every time I pruned a branch that was dead, it would it would uh, kill more branches. So I've chosen to not prune this tree anymore for right now, just kind of a couple years, water it, let it do what it does, and then kind of come in when it gets a little more stronger and trim it if I don't lose it. But this one I might lose because of how bad the bark is. Might it might hang in there for a couple more years. It flowered and it's fruiting right now, but uh, it needs some help. Oh, it's definitely you know seen way better days um, but I'm not trimming it anymore because every time I would trim I trimmed this branch here every time I trim it the whole branch would die so I'm pretty much just letting it go you see some nice little green pockets everywhere I mulched it heavy and uh, this one's actually doing a lot better than the other one um, the bark isn't really peeling off much down here except for right here so maybe that needs to be scraped off and, and painted for sure. So it's on the west side. So this one's next. Painting the trunk of a tree has always felt a little weird to me because I don't really want to use a latex paint on a tree. It's not natural but it works, it, it reflects the sun off the tree. So right now I have this jar of uh, tree paint, normal basic consumer tree paint. Um, this is what they use in orchards and stuff. So there's also something called milk paint, which uh, Craig on the Moringa videos that you've seen the Moringa Massacre and see his food forest, Craig has experimented with this milk paint and it's a super awesome option. It's fairly expensive, this is definitely cheaper um, but what I'm gonna do to spice it up, and I don't know if it's gonna help, if it's gonna change anything or not, but I'm gonna take a little Moringa powder and I'm gonna put it in the white paint. I'm gonna make the paint green with Moringa and maybe that'll give it a little extra sun protection, um, but we'll see. But I wanna make some green paint, so this is gonna be painted green and we're gonna see uh, how green this Moringa powder makes the paint. So that's kinda cool. Um, and my dad's gonna help me paint the tree. So right now I'm gonna mix the paint and we're gonna see how green it turns out. So this paint is, you can see that, nice and bright white. So now I'm gonna mix some Moringa powder and see what happens. Well, it doesn't like to mix. <laughs> not mixing that well. It's not making it that green. Maybe I'll just have specks of Moringa. <laughs> <laughs> in the paint. Yeah, it didn't do much. Kind of looks like ranch dip <laughs> with some cilantro in it or something. Okay, so I mixed the paint. I'm gonna go get cleaned up. And now I'm gonna start painting this tree with my dad here shortly. And I'm gonna show you the process and uh, let you see what it looks like afterwards. All right, step one before we paint is kind of coming in here and scraping off 
getting down to the cambium layer. Just make sure you don't really damage the cambium layer too bad here, but scraping everything off, all the loose stuff, and now we can paint. So yeah, we just gotta make sure that this stuff doesn't. So my dad's gonna do some painting, so I'm gonna time lapse it. All right, well, it turned out that my dad just went ahead and painted the whole thing. <laughs> I was inside work and he was out here doing it, so he got it all painted. Thanks, Dad. Um, but uh, yeah, check it out. It's looking pretty good. I think he's gonna do another coat on it, but it's looking really good. I think this is definitely, could use another coat, but this is gonna be as good as, as, good as it can get for this summer. So I'm excited that it's painted now. Um, next thing we're gonna do is this tree. And that Moringa paint obviously didn't, the Moringa didn't do anything to make it green. <laughs> we just added some Moringa into the paint, but it's still white. I hope you guys will go out and paint your trunks of your trees if they're exposed, especially citrus and especially if the trunks are peeling. But you know, you really just wanna make sure that you take care of your trees. And this is just gonna give it mm, as good of a chance as it can have uh, with just surviving actually in this state. We'll see how long this helps it survive and kind of go from there. So hopefully uh, this tree will come back. You can kind of see it. It's, um, you know, kind of shabby, but still got some green on it. I want to see if I can bring it back. So we'll see if that does it. But paint your trunks. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below if you guys paint your trunks of citrus and what you paint it with. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up and share this video with the world so they know they gotta protect the trunks of their citrus trees. Comment below, let me know what you think about it. And I really appreciate everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you guys do like this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you can check out all the other cool videos that I have. And I just wanna say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. It really means the world you guys support me. If you guys do wanna support me, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills and uh, you guys can help me plant some more trees by supporting me. So really appreciate all you guys that are already my Patreons. It means the world to me. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, develop awesome skills. Love y'all.